Russian bombs are very big. They're less accurate than the American bombs. But a 20 megaton bomb landing on Los Angeles would dig a hole. Well, first of all, it comes in at 20 times the speed of sound, so you don't hear it coming. They take half an hour to go from launch to land. It would dig a hole three quarters of a mile wide and 800 feet deep, turning everyone, everything into radioactive fallout in a mushroom cloud. Five miles in the epicenter, every person will be vaporized, turn into gas. We couldn't do that before we developed nuclear weapons. 20 miles from the epicenter, everyone is lethally burned. Third degree burns, people are turning into missiles, flying through the air at 100 miles an hour. Shards of glass flying decapitate people, compound fractures with the bones sticking out of the skin. People lying, dying in the streets, no doctors because we're similarly dead or injured. Um, thinking to themselves, why didn't I do something to stop this? Then the whole area would be engulfed by a firestorm of 3,000 square miles, even in the middle of winter. Everything and everyone would burn, and cities contain a lot now of oil refineries and wood and plastics and the like. And as it burns, it rises into the stratosphere. Now, if you use all those thousand weapons on a hundred cities, uh, you would create such a pall of thick radioactive smoke it blankets the earth with a cloud so thick it blocks out the sun for up to 10 years creating a short ice age and everyone and everything would freeze to death in the dark and such an attack could occur tonight by error